Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Friday morning video. So today I really want to talk about the CPI report that came out yesterday morning at 8.30 a.m. slash more like why everyone's freaking out and the fear. Kind of want to give you my thoughts on where I stand in the market, kind of how I feel after all this information. Kind of have to let it digest. Yesterday I did not have a lot of, well, yeah, today I did not have a lot of time to really like dive into the market. This obviously post in the morning. I, I do these videos every night. So if I say today or tonight, that's probably why. So I do them every night and I post them in the morning. So just in case you're curious on why I say today, I get it mixed up sometimes. So I apologize. But uh, yeah, yesterday I uh, had to do uh, a business venture where I had to travel and I didn't have much time to get behind uh, the, the computer to really research. Like the, usually I have more time to look into things is what I'm saying at basically, but I was on the road traveling yesterday. So, um, you know, this is, this is kind of where I stand, just, just overall looking at everything and kind of what, how I collected everything and digested everything yesterday. The expectations for a year, um, annual inflation was 7.3, which is higher than uh, the last month's CPI data, which is 7.0. The month prior was 6.8. So obviously inflation is expected on going to go up. Jerome Powell made it very clear in his uh, last Fed meeting a couple weeks ago that inflation was worse than what it was prior. So that kind of like, this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Like he, he literally said it. It's just a matter of, is it coming in at 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5? The highest analyst that uh, you know predicted what it could be was 7.5, and that was what it came in at. So, you know, really, is it is it you know, it's kind of it was already priced in in my eyes, and you need a little bit of a sell off because you had some optimistic, and we rallied really hard two days prior, especially the day prior to CPI data. People were really bullish on uh, the market and just kind of you can tell it it's very pent up. You have to remember, like, people have, you know, from the tax house harvesting in December, where do you think that money went? It's literally probably just sitting in cash right now. There's obviously a 30-day wash sale. That is basically all gone because we're, we're well into February at this point. So people have cash. I think people are just getting antsy. It's got to go somewhere. Obviously, if inflation is 7%, obviously this year, it, you know, there's gonna be inflation every year, right? So let's just say it comes in at 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7%, whatever, whatever that may be. If you keep it in cash, you're just devaluing your money. Uh, real estate, you could argue, is not that easy to slide money around and the market prices are real high, there's not a lot of demand, so that might not be the best place. Bonds are complete junk right now, right? So we have to you know, think about that. Like, Where are people putting all this cash? You can tell they wanna put it in the market. It's probably, honestly, the smartest place to do long-term and you, know, you can put whatever amount you want in it. So. Expectation 7.3, uh, actual 7.5, and every headline that you like, if you go on Google or you search CPI data today, every headline says, most inflation since 1982. Now, uh, how do I put this? Is It's expected, right? So the market has this all priced in. We know it's gonna be high. We know at some point, it, 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 this, in my opinion, is probably the peak inflation, in my opinion, because you got to remember last year, the vaccine came out in the early spring. It was readily available. Um, you know, we had stimulus. So with all that, we're going to be competing month over month to that. So now we don't have stimulus. Uh, the bond purchasing has stopped after this month. We're raising rates. So in theory, combating with what we had last year and the pent-up demand to get out of the house and do things again, I think we might have hit an inflection point this report, and I bet you the March one uh, is going to come in less than this. I'm just, I'm just, just an educated guess. So, and you know, we have news, you know, every, every website, CNBC, CNN, Fox, um, you name it. Uh, all the headlines are CPI data at 7.5, highest inflation since 1982. I wasn't even born in 1982, so that's my whole life at least. I've never experienced inflation this high. So what's that mean? They're trying to scare people. Do they have to put this like, okay, what happened in 1982? You know, I didn't dive through history, but was unemployment at a healthy ratio? Was GDP really strong? Were companies raising margins and people still buying it? Like they're, they're, they didn't even have internet back then, let's be real. So like. 
there's just so much more data to get out there and I really think people are just trying to scare people for whatever reason. And uh, it's just freaking people out for no reason. It's all short-term fear, in my opinion. Month over month, yeah, it last, the month prior was 0 0.05, and this month was 0 0.05. I don't know if it was 0 0.05 or 0 0.06, so correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. But whatever it was, it stayed the same. So that's good. Month over month, you know, we didn't get any more inflation. So um, that's great. So I think we'll inflect also down probably to like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 next month. And then we're going to have Jerome Powell obviously speak shortly after that about the, the, the interest rate hikes, which is my next talking point. Uh, you know, uh, you know, in the afternoon they were talking about how uh, aggressive they might raise rates. Uh, there's talks that it might be 0.5% rate increase for 0.25. In my eyes, you know, I like, let's be real. If they raise rates 0.25 or, or, or a half a percent, do you really think that's going to deter people from really purchasing something? I don't. I mean, people have more money than they've ever had. Uh, spending is out of control right now. People just want to get their hands on things. I really think them raising rates a half a percent, honestly, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Um, the news and reporters can say whatever the heck they want, but it's probably not going to honestly do anything. Uh, you got to let the market or you got to let inflation kind of fix itself with getting supply back stop raising rates, stop giving raises, uh, but obviously it's the new year, so all that kind of corrects every year. People adjust rates at the end of the year, people give raises at the end of the year to cover inflation. It's just, it's gonna come down itself. You know, the stimulus stopped. Then they also said that it's gonna probably maybe be 1% increase by June. That's really not a big deal. So if they raise 0.5, you know, next month, then they have another meeting, you do 0.25, and then you do one in June at 0 0.25. What well, butchered that? But yeah, that's one percent. It's not a big deal. Or, or or switch these two around. Feel it out. You know, do 0 0.25 in March if it's still out of control. Okay, get a little more aggressive. Do five and then figure it out. I mean, really, like one percent. It's it's. This is already all getting priced in. That's why things sold off really heavy in the back half today. I think it's a super overreaction. Like we know this is coming. Like, you know, the Fed's gonna do what they need to do, and they're gonna. The, the more this number gets out of control, you know, it's, 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 they're going to raise rates accordingly. Like next month, let's just say CPI comes out and it comes out super low. Like just say analysts say it's going to come in at 7.2 or 7.3 and it comes in at 6.8. Do you think they're going to raise rates a half a point or 0 0.25? I'd be willing to bet this. Just say it comes in higher or the same. They might pick this, but either way, like who cares? As a long-term investor, you're just getting good deals and it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Yeah, I think the market's just panicked. That's kind of my thoughts um, on what's going on. It's, it's really, in my opinion, the sell-off today was an overreaction. Uh, but my stocks, they're not even close to the 52-week lows of like last month, which is still crazy. Let me, um, if I have time, which I do, yeah. Let me just run through some of my stocks. The firm did report. Um, I might make a video later on that, but uh, something happened with like the numbers getting leaked out on Twitter, then removed and pulled back. and. That stock literally lost all its gains from the past, you know, uh, it lost all its gains from the past five days. So, which is fine. I mean, I mean, that's a long-term stock. I still love it. I think they missed on EPS, but they beat, um, they beat earnings or revenue. Um, but yeah, I need to look into that. I'm really not too worried about it, but, uh, yeah, so a firm got hammered, not a big deal, whatever. Uh, what else got hit hard? I mean, Beyond Meat only fell 2%, whatever. Coin's still above two, $200 or 204. That's a stock I'm, I, you know, I'm getting super, super hyped with uh, crypto. Obviously, if you guys haven't, like, you know, the Super Bowl is a Sunday, right? And there's a lot of companies, like, there's rumors that there's going to be a lot of uh, crypto and um, brokerage ads on it. Like, that's going to get people so excited for uh, crypto and all that stuff. So, I might actually buy some Coinbase. I feel like now it's down 5% today. Like that's a good play, man. It's it's 20 it's 205. That's such a good deal. So I might have to do that. Um, interesting. Corsair reported it was getting bullied all week by hedge funds and people, you know, doing God knows what. With all this bad news, it only dropped 0.75%. So I think the shorts are in for a heck of a time. If that stock holds and starts gaining momentum, it's gonna be squeezed really hard in my opinion. Disney had a great day. They had they had awesome, awesome 
um, earnings and reports on what they're doing as far as like margin and business. It's crazy. It's such a good stock. Uh, what else got hit kind of hard? I mean, nothing really. I mean, Matterport fell back four, okay, whatever. Uh, PayPal obviously fell down three and a half percent. It's at 118. I, I, I will be probably buying that tomorrow. Um, I didn't have time to look at it today, but anything under 120, this is like a steal. Uh, what else? Square obviously got hit just as hard. I might buy Square too, we'll see. They report earnings, I think, next week or the following, so I wanna get more money in there before they report. And uh, yeah, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, it was really, I mean, a, a, a two, two and a half percent pullback in my portfolio, it's really not a big deal. With all that crazy news and all that panic, I mean, that's really not that bad. So, you know, you're, you get to a point where there's so much, how much worse news can there get? Like people expect it now. So it's like, whatever, like, oh great, more bad news. Cool, I'll just buy more. You know, that's that's kind of the mentality we're at right now. Like it's gonna take a lot, a lot, a lot of really bad news for the market to really tank. So it's kind of my thoughts on see the CPI report, the fear going on, what I'm doing. I'll probably be buying PayPal tomorrow. I'll make a video if I do. And uh, until tomorrow, make sure you like, subscribe, peace.